Well, you guys got another video here for you on top 10 useful keyboard shortcuts for Windows you need to know today. So let's go along and take a look at some of these useful shortcuts. The first one is to minimize open windows. So the first command is Windows plus M key on your keyboard. You can see it drops all of the windows down to the taskbar here. You will have to physically click on these to reopen them. You can also use the better one, which I think is called a Windows key plus D and then push the Windows key plus again, and it will open up the windows for you. So you can automatically open them and close them by using the Windows key plus D. Another one which you might want to use, which is quite useful, is Windows plus comma. This will make the windows transparent, as you can see here, so you can see behind them. So if you had something on the back of your desktop that you wanted to quickly look at, you can use the Windows plus comma key. Let's move on to the next one here. The next one we're going to look at is Control plus Windows key plus D. And what this is going to do is open up a virtual desktop. So if you've got stuff on your desktop and you push those keys, Control plus Windows plus D, this will create a virtual desktop which you can then use and it won't disturb your main desktop that you was working on. So maybe you've got some documents on there and some other bits and pieces on there that you're working on and you don't want to uh, disturb those, you can quickly use the create a virtual desktop. Now to navigate between your virtual desktops, you can use control plus windows plus left or right arrow keys, and this will rotate through your virtual desktops that you have opened. Very useful command this one, especially if you've got some things open and you want to open up another virtual desktop and use uh, that virtual desktop instead of your main desktop. Let's move on to the next one which is a Windows plus left. This will snap whatever window you've got open to the left. And then you can also open up another document here and type Windows plus R, and this will snap it to the right. That means that if you're working on, say, a topic on YouTube and you're watching a video or something like that and you want to take some notes down, you can easily do it using the snap feature built into Windows 10. You can use the Windows plus left and Windows Plus R to snap those to left and right of the screen. Next, we're taking a look at a very useful one, which is switching between the applications that you have open on your desktop. Alt plus tab is the old command that you use. Basically, you use the Alt to hold down, and then you tab key. You just keep tapping it until you find the program you want and open that program just like this here. This is very quick and useful. Another way to do it is if you don't want to hold the keys down, you can use the Control plus Alt plus Tab. And this will keep it open on your desktop, and then you can use your arrow keys to cycle through and then push Enter which one you want to open. And that's how you can do that without holding the keys down on the keyboard. There is a new way of doing it, and that is the Windows key plus Tab key. And what this is going to do is open up a menu which you can see here, which is going to allow to see all of your virtual desktops that you have open. And you can also see all of the applications you have open on your desktop. So it's a very good way of cycling between uh, virtual desktops and also uh, closing off applications and virtual desktops that you're not using anymore. So this is the new way of doing it. And it's a very quick and useful way of cycling through all of the tabs you have open on your desktop and also manage your virtual desktops by just closing them off like this. There you go. Just hit the close button and it closes those off. Very useful command, that one. So let's move on to another command here. So this command is very useful for uh, force closing applications or windows that you have open, and it's Control plus Shift plus Escape. And this will open up the task manager. Now, sometimes when your system sometimes locks up and you can't get access to the taskbar, you can use the Control Shift Escape. It will come straight to the front of all the windows that you have open, and then you can just close off any of the applications or processes that you don't want anymore. And this will force quit those processes very quick and easily. So you can see here, I'm just going to close this last one off here, and that's closed all those off. Very quick and easy to do when you've got a locked up program that's not responding very well, you can use that command. Next up is the snapshot feature or print screen that you have 
On your keyboard, you can use the Windows key plus PRTSC key on your keyboard, and sometimes it will have print screen written on it. And you can use the Windows key plus that key. You should see a little flicker on the screen. And basically, all you need to do once you've done this is go to your Explorer and then go to Pictures. And inside there, there will be screenshots here. So click on this one here. And now you can open this up and you should see the screenshot of whatever it is you took a snapshot of that was open on your desktop here. So you can see it's now took a snapshot of exactly what we had open here. Very useful and very quick and easy to do that command. And it's very useful for people who just want to quickly show someone something. And you can quickly take a snapshot using the Windows key and the print screen key. Now, next up is another useful one, which is Control plus P. This is going to allow you to print whatever it is that you want to print here on your computer. You can open up the print panel and basically go ahead and create a PDF or print something out. Uh, landscape, portrait, just as you can see here, how many pages you want to print. You can set that all up by just using the control plus print on your keyboard. Another one, which is the older one, which is the control plus shift plus P. And this will open up the old style print box here which will allow you to do that just inside here as well. So whatever way you want to do it, you've got the new and the old version of uh, using the print to printer uh, shortcut on your keyboard. Next up, we're going to do a couple of quick ones here. Windows plus A will open up the Action Center on Windows desktop. Very quick and easy to do. The other quick one you've got here, which I'll quickly show you as well, is the Windows plus I, and this will open up your settings window. So it's a very quick way to get to settings. And uh, that's what I use all the time. And another quick one here, we're going to quickly take a look at is the Windows plus L, which is the lock screen, which if you're working at a desktop and basically you've got a few people around you and you want to lock your desktop screen, you can push Windows plus L and it will lock your desktop screen. As long as you're using the Windows password, they won't be able to log in. You will have to put the Windows password in there to literally log back in. Now, quick bonus one here is the copy and paste and cut and paste. So if I just copy and paste using the control C and control V, that will copy whatever it is that I want to from one place to another. You can also cut and paste by using control X and then control V, and that will also paste it over just like so. I wanted to add that little bonus one in there because that is very useful and it's probably one of the most used uh, shortcuts that we use today on a computer. Anyway, I think that is going to be about it for this video. I hope these uh, shortcuts help you out, uh, helping you speed up your productivity on your computer. Once you get used to them, you'll never go back to using your mouse to point to certain areas on your computer. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I just want to say a big special thanks to all those people who have joined my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support, and I shall see you again for another video uh, tomorrow. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.